Good morning, viewers. Welcome back to our channel. This is Raju Upadhyay from Sinus College, Patna, Department of IT. Today, I am going to talk about another function of Advanced Excel that is called subtotal. We will understand why do I require a subtotal and grand total. So, first of all, we will understand what is a subtotal. So, subtotal is basically performed in a list or a database. So it is generally easier to create a list with subtotal by using the subtotal commands in the outline group on your data tab in an Excel desktop application. Once the subtotal is created, you can easily modify, modify it by editing the subtotal function and using the subtotal automatically it creates a grand total as well. So I'll be taking you to my demo screen where you can understand things in a proper way. See, out here I have a data. In this particular worksheet, you can notice we are having a company name. So there are five different companies, like we are having a global IT, Rocks, Luxurious Hotels, Lifeline Healthcare, Health Center, then we are having a Mac Healthcare and Alpha Supermarket. So in order to get the subtotal in the right way, first of all, we need to sort the data. So I'm going to sort this particular worksheet on the basis of company name. So in order to sort it, we can select our data list or data table, you can say. And then as we know, we can go to home and within a home, we are having a short and filter feature. So I'm going to short it in as an ascending order. After sorting it, my data has been sorted out here. Once the sorting is done, we can go for subtotaling. So in order to do the subtotaling, we have to go for a data tab on your menu bar. And within this, we are having a data tools or rather we are having an outline group. Within an outline group, we are having an option called subtotal. So we'll select the subtotal. The moment we'll select the subtotal, subtotal window appears. Within a subtotal, we have to specify the name on which, the column name on which you wanted to get the subtotal. So on the basis of company name, I wanted to get the subtotal. And subtotal will happen on what column? So that column is the extended price. That is a, a multiplication of unit price and quantity. And we will get the summarize summary below data. That means this is going to generate your grand total. And then once, and as a function, by default, it takes the sum function. You can have another function as well. So I'll be working with the sum function. I'll select this and I'll click on OK. The moment I'll click on OK, uh, you can notice out here, our outline group has been created out with the number level number one, two, and three. And for the data, you can see for Alpha Supermart, one group has been created like this. And the total of this Alpha Supermart is available out here. So basically this $21,160 it is addition of all these. Accordingly, we can have a subtotal of global IT. You can notice here, this is the global IT subtotal, which is available here. Then we are having a lifeline health center subtotal. Then we have the Mac healthcare subtotal, as well as we are having the rocks luxurious hotel subtotal. So we have got five different kind of subtotal and all subtotal is added together to get the grand total. But this is the entire comprehensive list. Now, if you can click on, you can click on two, then you are getting only subtotals. So all five subtotals are available as well as the grand total for that, we are getting it. If I click on one, so we are getting only grand total. If you are interested to see grand total, you can click on the first level. If you wanted to get the 
breakup of grand total in terms of subtotals. You can click the second option. And if you click the third option, so again, you are going to get back the complete details. So this is the way by which you can create your subtotal. And if you wanted to remove this entire subtotal concept, which is applied on this particular worksheet. So again, you have to go to data tab and within this, you have the subtotal and within a subtotal, you can notice out here, we are having a button called remove all. The moment you click on remove all, your worksheet will become, it will get the initial stage. Now, that's all for the day in uh, subtotal. So I hope all of you must have understood the concept of subtotal. I'll be coming with the another video tomorrow. So thanks for watching this particular video. If you like the video, click on uh, like button and write down your important comments in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video.